Across beds, hearts and bucks. This is Helen Lee. BBC Three Counties Radio. Eurovision tonight. The Eurovision Song Contest is the 58th Eurovision Song Contest held in Malmo in Sweden. 100 million people can't be wrong, can they? That's how many people are expected to watch around the world. I'll be watching, although I have got to get up at four o'clock tomorrow, and it's the voting that goes on forever that I may forego this evening. We'll see. Do you remember an episode of Father Ted when Dougal dreamed that he was the Irish entry for Eurovision? I do. was ever entered into Eurovision, it would win, surely, wouldn't it? Ah, the happy memories. Well, we decided we would bring a couple of super fans with local connections together to see who knows the most. Let's speak first to Martin Phillips, who lived in Luton when he was younger. His granny lived in Harpenden all her life, so he will take anyone these days. And he's in Sweden right now, getting ready for the Eurovision party to get into full swing. Good morning, Martin. Good morning, from Sveriga. Oh, so you know the lingo and everything? Yes, indeed. A bit overexcited about Eurovision. Um, you go every year, don't you? We've been going for the last eight years. And why? Um, it's basically, it's a lot of fun. We see a lot of the same faces each year. Um, it's a huge production. Uh, we get to mix our love of music with love of travel. And it so happens that every year for the last eight years, we've been able to go to a new country or a new city that we've never been to before. So everything coalesces around co- uh, Eurovision for us. So the second that you know who's won, are you then planning your next year trip? Uh, well, we're on the phones booking the hotels to get the best hotel really? for the city, yes. I guess you have to be quite quick, don't you? Uh, well, sometimes we do it beforehand. If there's, a, if there's a dead certainty to win, then we may be booking our hotel a couple of days before. Martin, you're hedging your bets there a bit, though, aren't you? I, I bet on the hotels more than I do on the acts, actually. My goodness. Now, I love it, and I know that you love it, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't go. There right. are plenty of people who aren't that keen. We've had plenty of comments on our Facebook page saying, no, I don't watch it, it's all fixed, it's all political, it's a load of old nonsense. What do you say to those people who say, what are you doing? Well, there is a lot of politics in that. There's, in it, there's no doubt about that. You know, people talk most often about the Eastern Bloc countries voting for each other, but in actual fact, I think the, the if you can say, the worst element of political voting is generally in the part of Europe that we are right now, which is uh, the Scandinavian countries. They all vote for each other, don't they? Pretty much, yes. Do's um, all round. There you go. And um, But as for the quality of the music, it, cha- it, it differs every year. I think this year may be not as good. Uh, but unfortunately, it's usually the UK that uh, puts in some of the worst acts. And I think that's what really um, disappoints many of the, the British people. So what do you think about Bonnie Tyler this year? <laughs> Well, um, you may not know this, but uh, aside from living in Luton as a kid, I also lived in uh, Birch Grove, which is right next to Skewen, which is where Bonnie's from. Mm-hmm. So I was, I was living actually about a mile and a half from her. So I've always liked her, not just because she's Welsh, not just because she's from the next village where I grew up, partly. But, um, yeah, I've always liked her music. Um, the, the song she's got this year is not the strongest of the uh, uh, within Eurovision, but the love that she's receiving from the people here in Sweden and the, the press and the fans is really phenomenal. Um, it's, it's above and beyond anything I've seen before. It does sound like there's a real kind of community feel to, yes. to Eurovision, and I like that. I do like yeah. that. So you mentioned that you are more likely to bet on hotels than you are on um, the actual act. Who this year, which, which hotel, which... European city are you betting on having to book a hotel room in this year? I'm betting on being back in Baku. And which country? I'm so sorry, my geography is rubbish. That's Azerbaijan. Ah, okay. Oh, really? Again? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because Denmark, I think, are the favourite. I'm, I've got my money on Malta. I love Malta. Oh, well, Malta would be my, my personal second choice. Uh, Denmark is strong from a Eurovision, Eurovision perspective. I think you will see a lot of voting, a lot of 12 points coming from other uh, Scandinavian countries. But unless Denmark gets a lot of votes or middling votes from the Eastern Bloc countries, I'm not sure it will do, uh, get, get enough to be number one. It certainly isn't a runaway number one like we've had in pre- prior years. I like features the line, um, something all round. There you go. 
And um, but as for the quality of the music, it, cha- it it differs every year. I think this year maybe not as good. Uh, but unfortunately, it's usually the UK that uh, puts in some of the worst acts, and I think that's what really um, disappoints many of the, the British people. So what do you think about Bonnie Tyler this year? Well, um, you may not know this, but uh, aside from living in Luton as a kid, I also lived in uh, Birch Grove, which is right next to Skewen, which is where Bonnie's from. Mm-hmm. So I was, I was living actually about a mile and a half from her. So I've always liked her, not just because she's Welsh, not just because she's from the next village where I grew up, partly. But, um, yeah, I've always liked her music. Um, the, the song she's got this year is not the strongest of the uh, uh, within Eurovision, but the love that she's receiving from the people here in Sweden and the, the press and the fans is really phenomenal. Um, it's, it's above and beyond anything I've seen before. It does sound like there's a real kind of community feel to, yes. to Eurovision, and I like that. I do like yeah. that. So you mentioned that you are more likely to bet on hotels than you are on um, the actual act. Who this year, which, which hotel, which... European city are you betting on having to book a hotel room in this year? I'm betting on being back in Baku. And wh- which country? I'm so sorry, my uh, geography is rubbish. That's Azerbaijan. Ah, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Again, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because Denmark, I think, are the favourite. I'm, I've got my money on Malta. I love Malta. Oh, well, Malta would be my, my personal second choice. Uh, Denmark is strong from a Eurovision, Eurovision perspective. I think you will see a lot of voting, a lot of 12 points coming from other uh, Scandinavian countries. But unless Denmark gets a lot of votes or middling votes from the Eastern Bloc countries, I'm not sure it will do, uh, get, get enough to be number one. It certainly isn't a runaway number one like we've had in pre- prior years. I like Malta because uh, it features the line, um, something about Jeremy in IT... Yes. I can't remember how it goes, actually, but that's the best one for me. So I'll be, as, aside from Bonnie, I'll be voting mentally for Malta. Yes. We'll see how it goes. So where will you watch it from? We'll be, hopefully, front row in the stadium in, in the arena row? tonight. Yeah. How on earth do you get front row tickets? Well, it's, it's standing, uh, standing room on the floor. And all the fans that have been guaranteed tickets, they, are, they have the standing room and... Um, you know, hope, hopefully I'll be there early enough or be able to elbow my way through to the front. So, yes, we'll be somewhere near the front, I hope. You are a true super fan. So I would like to put you to the test, if okay. you don't mind. No, try me. OK, so I have um, a little montage of one, two, three, four, five songs which have all featured in Eurovision in the past 30 years. I would like to know song title, artist and year. If, okay. if possible, have a little listen to this, Martin. I'm hoping you'll be able to hear this. Oh, no, hang on. I have to stop that again. Stop, stop, stop. We'll be there in a second, Martin. Don't mind me. No stop. Worries. There we go. There we go. Right. Now I can do it. Fly on the wings of love. Oh, Martin, I love all of those songs individually. It was very difficult not to sing along to those. So we had five songs there. Do you know them, title and artist? Can we go through? Yeah, we can. I should have had a pen, shouldn't I? You should have done. I'll I'll tell you what, I'll play them again so we can go through it at the same time. Okay, Okay. so here we go. Who's this one? That's the Olsons from 2001, Denmark, Fly on the Wings of Love. I'll tell you if you're right at the end. Okay. This one? That's Sandy Shaw, Puppet on a String, the UK. That's 69, I think. Okay. 
This is the best one for me. This is the reason why I love Eurovision. What's this one? Brotherhood of Man, so because it's for me, 1976. Okay, and we've got two more to prove your superfan status. For the last time, hold me now. Oh, I love this song. Yeah, that's Johnny Logan, Hold Me Now. I'm not sure of the year. I think it's probably about 1986. Okay, and final one, which I'm not quite sure if it got nil point or, or what, but, you know, she did her best. Final one, Martin. That was that's better the devil you know. And for the moment, I'm having a mental block. Is it Emma, perhaps? No. Um, um, Emma was be- give a little love back to the world. Oh, okay. But it is um, better the devil you know. I Think Liverpool. Who- Think Stock Aitken and Waterman. Yeah, I am, but I'm not remembering the. It was Sonia. Name. Sonia. Sonia course, better the devil yeah. you know. Now let's go through. So, Fly on the Wings of Love, the Olsen Brothers, was from the year 2000. You said 2001, but to be honest, the year doesn't really matter. Sandy Shaw, Puppet on a String, 67. The Brotherhood of Man, Save We Were Kisses for Me, 1976. Johnny Logan, Hold Me Now from 1987, not 86, to be honest. I think you did yourself proud, Martin. Thank you. I think you did wonderfully. And all of those songs, even though they didn't all win were worthy contenders. I hope very much you have a wonderful time and you're on the front row and everything goes amazingly and that you are right about booking your hotel rooms in Azerbaijan. Thank you very much for your time this morning, Martin Phillips. He lived in Luton when he was younger. His granny lived in Harpenden all her life. That's his local connection. He's in Malmo. He will be on the front row of Eurovision tonight. How exciting. 